My name is Maggie and I am eight years old. At about a year old, she started having grand mal seizures. We were told it was epilepsy. She would have, on average, two grand mal seizures a week. 90% of her sleep time, she was in a seizure. I would wake up a lot during the night. I didn't know when it was coming or not. Some would last 20 seconds, some would last five minutes. It's not if it'll happen, it was, well, when is it gonna happen? She had one, one time it was five minutes long. I had her right in my arms and she started turning blue. That, that was really, really the harder one. One day, our good friend Brian, I must have had a very defeated look on my face or something in line. So I asked her, I said, you know, hey Kim, what, what's going on? You, you just look, you look sad like something happened. No, Maggie had a bad seizure. And Seizing? Do you know what I do for a living? And she said, no. I said, well, I happen to work in the field of neuroscience. And if you get a copy of the EEG, I'd be happy to share it with one of my great friends. And if there's anything that we can do, we'll try to help. Just listening to him, he sounded absolutely insane. You know, really, you're going to help my daughter. You're going to hook her up to these wires, and she's going to be cured. OK. The subjective experience sometimes is simply unconsciousness. Like there was just a snip of time missing. And you ask him, what happened? I didn't really remember it. Like, kind of, but not really. The kind of epilepsy she has, which is a very unique kind. If you fall asleep, your brain has a seizure, your body is still. You don't look like you're convulsing, but your brain is having a seizure. And it can kill you in your sleep. What am I going to do for this young person that they haven't already gotten? Neurofeedback is a way of doing some operant training to the brain. And the meta-analysis that was done by Gabriel Tan showed an 84% chance of a 50% or greater reduction in seizures following neurofeedback. And the doctor said, you know, I'm a specialist in this area. I've never heard of this. How can it be real if I've never heard of it? He was an open-minded skeptic, which is all we needed. Well, if it doesn't hurt, Let's just give it a shot. So we started this treatment. They provided the entire session's treatment out of the goodness of their hearts. Eventually what we started doing was shaping and conditioning the brain. We went up to Linda, driving through the snowstorm. Uh, met up with her. We got Maggie's brain mapped. I did brain training. I stopped having seizures. It's a behavioral training. It gives the body and the brain a message by the feedback. Do this, don't do that. You're just gonna do all the cool talents that you do to make that ball levitate. No hands, you can't use any hands though. It was fun, really fun. So the family went up, spent a weekend with Linda. Linda showed them how to connect the electrodes and which locations they had to go on. Who helped her? Maggie, Maggie helped, helped her. She, helped she did the work. Nobody did it but Maggie. We're really just optimizing her brain function. We're not treating epilepsy. The doctor's treating the epilepsy. We're just helping her learn how to operate her brain. Every week, Linda would pop in and make, make a few adjustments on the training protocol. Well, three to four weeks into training, mom calls me, just completely excited, practically crying. Um, turns out that Maggie slept through the night. It was the first time she had slept through the night in over two years. I raced to her room and I walk in there and she was peacefully sleeping great. You know, from that moment, we just knew this was our journey. So once her treatment plan was over, approximately 70 sessions, she had a completely clean EEG. She goes on the monkey bars and hangs upside down, um, goes on bike rides, um, goes swimming. She's living a normal childhood now. It's exciting. <laughs> Neural feedback has saved her life. Truly has. Are you, you meet somebody in line and ask them how they're doing, and their life changes. <laughs>